Bienvenidos a todos, Dios los bendiga. ¿Cómo están el día de hoy? You guys doing good today? I hope you guys are feeling a little better since last week, the little spanking we got last week. Espero que se sientan un poquito mejor después de la regañada que nos dieron la semana pasada. Ahora ya los miro un poquito más derechitos. See you guys a little straighter today. It smells good in here. You got showered. That's good. I even shaved. Um, but no, look around and, and see. You know, this place is, is filled, and it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see. Si miramos alrededor, es es bonito mirar la la iglesia llena y espero que que um, esta mañana um, quiero hablar de la importancia de de la Biblia. This morning I want to talk about the importance of the Bible. And um, I want you guys to turn to Second Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen. Por favor, abran abran sus Biblias en la segunda de Timoteo, tres dieciséis. Sígueme en español mientras lo leo en inglés. It says, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. That the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. So as a church, we lack nothing, right? Amen. We lack nothing. We we are the children of God, and uh, therefore He equips us for our daily battle. And the beauty of it is that we have a personal letter directly from God Himself. When you get, when we open this book, you open the very mouth of God. That is a powerful advantage to have. Como iglesia no nos falta nada, amen. Somos elegidos por Dios y él nos equipa para la batalla y lo mejor de todo es que uh, tenemos una carta personal de Dios. Cada vez que abrimos la Biblia, abrimos los labios de Dios. But how important is the Bible in our lives? Is it somewhat important? Is it some of it is important? ¿Qué tan importante es la Biblia? ¿No más parte de la Biblia o, o toda la Biblia? Quiero que abran sus Biblias en Mateo uh, 4, y versículo 4. Matthew 4, 4. It says, But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. San Mateo 4, 4 dice, Pero Jesús le contestó, La Escritura dice, No solo de pan vivirá el hombre, sino también de toda la Toda la palabra que, que salga de los labios de Dios. And this is coming from Jesus himself. And the reference that he uses here is, is of food. And obviously that's something that, that we need daily, right, for, for survival. And some might need it more than others, right, like, like myself. Um, y aquí Jesús es el que está hablando y, y es... Um, Usa como referencia a la, a la comida, que es algo que necesitamos diario para sobrevivir. And, uh, and I love how Jesus says, but by every word that comes from his mouth, indicating that every word of God is nutritional for in our spiritual being. He's looking towards the eternal versus the physical. Algo que me encantó de este versículo es como... Jesús dice, sino también de toda la palabra que salga de los labios de Dios. Indicando que toda la palabra es nutritiva para, para nuestro espíritu. Amén. Y aquí Jesús es, está enfocado más en, lo, en la eternidad, más que en el estado físico. 
And uh, the Bible is made to bring restoration and guidance in our lives. La Biblia está para traernos restauración y guianza. Um, Psalms 19.7 says, The law of the Lord is perfect. It gives us new strength. The law of the Lord can be trusted. They make childish people wise. So the more that we read, the more dedication that we spend in the, in the Word of God, the wiser we, um, we become. Salmos 19, uh, versículo 7. Dice, la enseñanza del Señor es perfecta porque, porque da nueva vida. El mandato del Señor es fiel porque hace sabio al hombre sencillo. Si, si dedicamos ese tiempo en leer las escrituras, a Dios nos da sabiduría. Um, Psalm 19, 105 also says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and the light to my path. Salmos 19, uh, 105 dice, Tu palabra es una lámpara a mis pies y una, y una luz en mi camino. And so therefore, the Bible is our number one source in everything. La Biblia es nuestra fuente número uno en todo. We see in 1 Timothy 4.13, Primera de Mateo 4, versículo 13. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to exhortation and to teaching. Dice, entre tanto que voy, ocúpate en, el, en la lectura, la exhortación y la enseñanza. This word devote means to give your, give your all or a large part of one's time, or one's resources to a person, activity, or a cause. So in this verse you can say, give all yourself to the public reading of scripture. Fíjense cómo usa la palabra ocúpate, como de manera disciplina y, y, y de, con de, devoción, poniendo toda atención, tomándola con práctica y, y dirección. Well, why am I talking about the Bible on the day of Pastor's Appreciation Day? ¿Por qué hablo de la Biblia en este día? Well, because I remember last year, um, on Pastor's Appreciation Day, Pastor gave us the definition uh, of appreciation. And it says, to understand the qualities of something or somebody and give them their proper value and thankful recognition. And the biggest quality that you have, Pastor, is the value that you give um, the Bible. Hoy yo hablo la, de la importancia de la Biblia, porque me acuerdo que el año pasado, el, past, el pastor nos dio la, la definición de, de apreciación, apreciación, que dice, entender las cualidades de algo o alguien y darle su justo valor y un agradecido reconocimiento. Y la más grande cualidad que el pastor tiene es que sigue la Biblia, el valor que le da la Biblia. Y es lo más importante que, que podemos tener en, en un pastor. Uh, it's the most important thing that we can have in a pastor because not a lot of, not a lot of churches can say that. Um, Hay muchas iglesias que, que no pueden decir lo mismo. Um, muchas iglesias que, que um, poco a poco van quitando la Biblia o, o le cambian algo para su conveniencia. Uh, the, the Bible, even in our own churches, we see that it's slowly uh, getting twisted around or shoved out of the way. And, um, and so we got to be thankful and appreciate our pastor that he, he stays strong in the Bible. So we thank you because each Sunday message, each, each uh, sense of direction um, is based on, on the Word of God and um, that's, the, that's the best direction that we can go in. We look at 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 3 to 4. 
Segunda de Timoteo, capítulo 4, versículo 3 al, al 4. It says, for the time will come when people will not put up the sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. Dice, porque llegará el día en que la gente no, no querrá escuchar la buena enseñanza. Al contrario, querrá oír enseñanzas diferentes. Por eso buscará maestros que le digan lo que quieren oír. La gente no escuchará la, ver, la verdadera enseñanza, sino que prestará atención a toda clase de cuentos. And it's sad that we have so many pastors that have fallen to, to the systems of the world. Es algo triste que, que muchos pastores um, se caen al sistema de, del mundo. And a very few pastors there to still stand up and stand out for the, for the word of God. So... Pastor, Sunday after Sunday we come to this church, we lend you our ears and our attention, and we really appreciate you for, for um, not taking that for granted. Pastor, domingo tras domingo venimos a la iglesia, te prestamos atención, y te, agrade te agradezco por no echarle a, a perder. I want to talk about the role of the pastor. El trabajo del pastor. To be good shepherds, right? Let's see what it says here in Acts 20, 28. Pay careful attention to yourselves and all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Dice, ustedes deben cuidarse a sí mismos y cuidar a los miembros de la iglesia de Dios. Recuerden que el Espíritu Santo los puso como líderes de la iglesia para que cuiden a todos los que Dios salvó por medio de la sangre de su propio Hijo. And we see here the great role that, that, that he has for watching over his flock. And it's not just any simple babysitting kind of job, right? Because if you notice... He says to first pay careful attention to yourselves. In other words, examine yourselves to be examples. And therefore, then you can be, uh, then you could effectively be uh, watchers and overseers. Podemos ver que el pasaje, um, el gran trabajo de cuidar a los miembros de la iglesia. Pero no es algo sencillo, ¿verdad? Porque si miras que primero dice, empieza con, uh, que empieza con decir, cuídase a sí mismo. Cuídense a sí mismos. Indicando que espiritualmente se tiene que evaluar a sí mismo. Para poder hacer de gran efecto y cuidar a, a sus ovejas. 1 Peter 5.3 Don't act as if you were... You were a ruler over those who are under your care. Instead, be examples to the flock. Primera de Pedro, uh, cinco, versículo uh, tres, dice, No traten a los que Dios les encargó como si ustedes fueran sus amos. Más bien, procuren ser un ejemplo para ellos. So we can see that the, the role of the pastor is, is of great value and, and importance. Um, ser, ser un pastor es algo muy importante y les quiero leer lo que dice eh, el pastor John MacArthur de esto I want to read to you guys what uh, pastor John MacArthur says about this that was very interesting to me it says no king, no president no politician no doctor, no lawyer no judge, no military commander on earth has such an awesome responsibility as the one who shepherds the sheep by giving instruction out of the word of God. Dice el pastor John MacArthur, ningún rey, ningún presidente, ningún político, ningún médico, 
ningún abogado, ningún juez, ningún comandante militar en la tierra tiene una responsabilidad tan impresionante como, como el que pastorea las ovejas al dar la instrucción de la palabra de Dios. Y le, les quiero decir que yo creo que esa no es una exageración. Y les voy a enseñar por qué en Santiago, si por favor abren sus Biblias en Santiago 3, versículo 1. And I want to show you guys that, that that quote from John MacArthur is not an exaggeration. I think it is very true, and I want to show you guys why in James uh, chapter 3, verse 1. If you guys can open your Bibles and meet me there, please. Santiago, capítulo 3, versículo 1. It says, Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. Dice, hermanos en, hermanos en Cristo, no debemos tratar de ser todos maestros, pues bien sabemos que Dios juzgará a los maestros más estrictamente que a los demás. And that is why, that is why I believe that, that John MacArthur's quote is not an exaggeration. I believe that that's, that's a huge deal, a huge gift that, that the Lord can give to a human being. And therefore, um, pastors need to really make sure and be sure of what they teach from the Word of God. Por eso es que creo que, que um, lo que dice John MacArthur es verdad, porque eso es un, es un gran privilegio de ten, que Dios nos puede dar como uh, a un ser humano, el, el um, dirigir a una iglesia. Now I want to show you guys the, the role of the congregation. El rol de la congregación. I'm going to show you guys in Hebrews 13, 17. In Hebreos 13, 17. It says, Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Obedezcan a sus dirigentes y sometanse a, a ellos, porque ellos cuidan sin descanso de ustedes, sabiendo que tienen que rendir cuentas a Dios. Procuren hacerles el trabajo agradable y, y no... Oh, no penoso, pues lo contrario no sería de ningún provecho para ustedes. We need to make sure that, we need to make sure because, like last week's message, it was, it was, it was something that, that he had already, he had already touched upon a year ago. It was the same exact things. La semana, la semana pasada, um, el pastor nos habló de, de, de unas cosas que él ya había, ya había men, uh, mencionado el año pasado. Son las mismas cosas. So that tells us that we need to really plan ahead and we need to take to consideration and, uh, and obey, submit and obey, because um, that's what we are to do as a congregation is, is to obey. And uh, tenemos que obedecer. Let's... Let's just make it a goal that I guess for the next year, let's just get in trouble for something else, not the same thing, right? <laughs> Hay que hacer mejor uh, nuestra meta que, que uh, siguiente año que, el, que nos regañen por otra cosa, no de las mismas cosas, amen? And, um, but we need, to, we need to really be, um, we need to learn how to submit, and that's a big thing. Um, to, to really obey, um, it's a huge thing to make it easier on our pastor. As we saw here, he's, he's an overseer, he's watching, he's supposed to watch over us. Tenemos que someternos al pastor, como miramos aquí que, que él tiene que cuidar. And sometimes we get, we get offended or we get hurt that if, you know, if you're confronted, hey, you're doing this wrong, it's not, you know, we don't, we don't humble ourselves to, to really um, just obey. 
And um, I want to give you guys an example. I remember two years ago, um, I work at COD as a custodian, and um, and I, you know, I do cleaning there and stuff. Um, and I'll never forget that two years ago, our our supervisor was asking, was getting ready to 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 give us new equipment to clean with, and so he asked every single one of us, "What is the what are some of the things that we need?" And so I'll never forget that everybody asked for a mop bucket, and everybody was specific in dark brown. Dark brown, and I was like, why is everybody so specific? Why does everybody want it in dark brown? And um, me acuerdo que hace dos años, um, porque yo trabajo limpiando la, el, el colegio de, de, de COD in Palm Desert, y uh, me acuerdo que hace dos años uh, mi supervisor nos estaba preguntando qué son unas un equipo nuevo que necesitamos para pues para limpiar y cosas nuevas pues sí y entonces me sorprendí que que todos escogieron una cubeta de mapear y todas las todos las esco, la, la escogieron en en, la, en color café oscuro y yo yo pensé por qué todo por qué exactamente una una cubeta de mapear y en, en el color café oscuro and you guys want to know why? It's surprising to hear. Um, every night, our supervisor goes around to everyone's area, and he goes and he checks up on it, um, and he checks your work, and he um, and if he sees you mopping, he looks into your bucket, and he sees, whoa, you need to change your bucket, you need to change your mop water, you can't be mopping with that same water, you need to do it, you need to keep changing it. So therefore, they all chose that Instead of changing the water every night, they chose that mop bucket in dark brown because dark brown, you can't tell that the water's dirty. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That's how lazy we are. <laughs> oh, y, y me sorprendí porque la razón que, que todos escogieron a esa uh, cubeta de, en color café oscuro es porque cada noche nuestro supervisor va por en cada área y, y nos está chequeando nuestro tra, nuestro trabajo y, um, y y cada vez que nos mira mapeando se fija en, en, en la cubeta que tenemos y si mira el agua sucia nos dice que tenemos que estar cambiando el agua cambia el agua no puede estar mapeando con con el agua tan sucia y y, um, y so, en vez de en vez de estar cambiando el agua todos mejor quisieron ordenar una cubeta de de um, color café oscuro porque ese color esconde el agua sucia. ¿Ya ves lo flojo que, que somos? Y, um, so, the, the point I'm trying to make here is um, rather than just, just doing it better, just submitting and listening, we need to make sure that we're just changing ourselves on the inside and know that that's why, that that's why the pastor goes and tells us, hey, you know what, it's for it's for our own good that we need to change. We need to change from the inside. Y yo uso este ejemplo para, lo que quiero decir es que tenemos que someter y nomás cambiar nuestro, um, lo sucio que tenemos adentro. Porque se imaginan, querían estar mapeando los baños, las cocinas, los salones, y las oficinas con el mismo agua, toda sucia. Imagínense, ¿y qué están haciendo? ¿Están limpiando? No, verdad? No se puede. Just imagine, they wanted to clean the classrooms, they wanted to clean the restrooms, they wanted to clean the offices, the kitchens, all with the same dirty water. And so, we can't really be useful, we can't really be clean, be cleaning when our insides are, are dirty. And so one of the biggest things is to submit and to be willing to change that. So I want all of us to stand up and I want to, because one of the biggest things that we need to do is we need to plan ahead. That's one of the biggest things. Una de las cosas más grandes que, que, que podemos hacer es planear. Planear, porque yo, yo, yo a veces me siento y estoy escuchando el mensaje y, y siempre pienso, ah, oh, es, es cierto, tengo que cambiar. Pero nomás lo digo y el, y el siguiente día, es, no, no hago nada. And so the biggest thing that we need to do is plan ahead. We need to really, really plan. 
we need to plan for tomorrow, sit down and write it down. Hey, you know what, this is, this is the, what I need to work on. And um, as a church, I believe that we need a lot of prayer. We need to be united. And um, I, I do want to challenge you guys, every, every Sunday morning um, at 7 a.m. from now on, I want to come here and I want to pray for the church. And any one of you guys can join me. And I would hope to see a full church like this, united, praying. Yo les quiero um, decir que cada mañana, cada, cada domingo en la mañana, voy a estar aquí a las 7 de la mañana y voy a estar aquí para orar. Y quiero, y quiero mirar a, pues, a toda la gente, a toda, toda, la, toda la iglesia unidos orando, porque es algo muy importante de de orar, de orar por el grupo, por el pastor, por el mensaje que vamos a, a recibir. So, vamos a orar. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for just the privilege of being here today. We thank you so much because the only reason we have open doors to our church is because of you. And we thank you for our pastor, for the great the great efforts and the great, just the time that he spends with you, how he spends so much time with you, praying over us, talking to you about us, and we just pray that you may continue to use him in his messages, continue to keep our church united, and may we come on Sunday mornings when we, when we sing worship, may we sing with united hearts and uh, hearts with, with harmony. Gracias, Señor, por este día que nos das. Y sabemos que la única razón por cual tenemos las puertas abiertas es, es porque tú lo permites, Señor. Y te damos gracias por nuestra, nuestra iglesia, y nuestro pastor y su familia. Te damos gracias porque él es un hombre que, 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 se, que siempre está contigo, Señor. Siempre está hablando contigo, siempre está queriendo aprender más. Y sabemos que él es un, un pastor que quiere mucho a su iglesia, Señor. Y te pedimos que lo sigas usando, Señor. Te pedimos que nos sigas usando a nosotros, que, que aprendemos, que aprendemos a, a someter al pastor y, y a tu palabra, Señor. We thank you and we pray all these things in Jesus' name we pray. Porque todo esto te lo pedimos en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Amén.